Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie, if this is your first time here, and I make videos all about DIY and style. And today is a good day because it is the DIY Mommy's Spring Decor and DIY Challenge. So I participate in this every year. I always look forward to it. And this year I decided to do some hanging planters and one non-hanging planter. So just three different types of planters. And this is really good if you are a plant lover or even if you decorate with fake plants, I have some of those around my house as well. So either way, it just is a nice way to spruce your house up for spring. So they're really easy to accomplish. Um, so I hope you guys will like them. And I'm gonna leave the link in the description box to the playlist for the other videos in the challenge. So make sure you check it out and let's go ahead and hop right into this one. This first one is kind of a beginner's take on macrame. So um, you're going to need some string or some rope. And then what you're going to do is measure out the length that you want it to hang from the ceiling and then double that. So I don't remember how long this was exactly, but it'll basically depend on where you're going to be hanging your planter. And then after you've cut out one piece, you're going to make four other identical pieces. So you'll have a total of five pieces. So I just used the first piece that I cut as a guide um, to cut out the rest of the pieces. Next, you're going to line them all up and fold them in half. So all the loose pieces, loose ends are at the bottom, and then you have a loop at the top. So what you're going to do is just wrap that around itself and tie a knot and pull it tight. And that way you're going to have a loop at the top. And this will be what you're going to hang your planter up by. Next, take this and tape it down to whatever works surface you are using and then take some time to just untangle the string and separate it out into five groups of two pieces of string each. Next you're going to take a wooden bead and slide it onto the first two pieces of string and tie a knot at the bottom. Now I did mine about 10 inches, 8 to 10 inches down from the top knot. Um, this will all depend on how big of a pot you're using, so you just need to guesstimate based on that. And then do this all the way across and tie knots at the bottom so the beads don't slide down. Next, you're going to take the first two beads and take the two pieces of string that lie in between them. And then you're going to place another bead on those two pieces of string a few inches down. And again, tie a knot at the bottom so that nothing slides off. Continue doing this all the way across. And then you're going to have two end pieces left. So what you're going to do with those is you're going to take them and put them together and put a bead on that. And that's going to finish it off. So what you're going to do last is to take all of them and tie another knot about six inches down on the bottom. And this is what your pot is going to be resting on when you hang it up. And then the last step is just to trim the ends. And there you have it, you can hang it up and enjoy. This next one is kind of my take on some ceramic planters that I saw online. So what I'm going to do is take some sculpting clay um, that I got at the craft store and then they come in these little bars. So just separate them out in half and then work with it until it's soft and easy to kind of form. And then I'm going to be rolling it into this little tube shape. Um, it's probably about like three or four inches long, and then I'm just going to press it down onto a piece of paper to give it a flat bottom so that it can sit like a leg on the bottom of my pot. And you're going to want to make three of these and try to make them as equal in size as possible. Um, so yeah, just roll them out and make sure they're flat on the bottom and the top. Next, I baked them according to the direction. So for me, that was 275 degrees for half an hour. So just read the package. And then what I'm doing here is taking the pot and I measured how um, big it is around and then I divided that by three, made a mark every five inches and then just took each of the legs after they were done cooling and I glued them on with some E6000. So they're each about five inches apart. So then once that was fully dry and I knew they were on there very nice and secure, then I just took some white acrylic paint and painted the bottom half of the planter using some painter's tape to tape it off. Now here's where the mistake happened. When I took the tape off after it dried, basically the entire top part of the paint just peeled right off with it like in one big sheet so it's not a big deal this is what happens when you DIY sometimes so as you can see it ended up just being on the bottom which actually is totally fine I like the way it looks and as a finishing touch I'm just adding some little black speckled dots with some black paint um, to kind of replicate that pottery look that I had seen and I did paint the legs as well and I decided to add some polka dots there too just to kind of finish it off and I really like how this turned out despite the little paint incident so I love it. Okay. 
Okay, so this last one is another hanging variation. So I had these little pots that I got. I think they came with some plants that I got at the grocery store. So you can really pick these up anywhere, like the dollar store or something like that. So what I'm gonna do is take a, a pencil and trace the eraser of it so that I have a little circle on it. And then I measured down how high I had done that. And then I came over four inches and put one at the exact same height. Um, so then what you're going to do is make four holes, two on each side. So I just put some pencils here and measured the distance in between to make sure they were going to be even on the other side. And then I marked those holes as well. This cuts really easy with an X-Acto knife. As always, just watch your fingers, but just use that little circle pattern that you made with your pencil to cut out each of the holes. Then I went ahead and painted this with some pink acrylic paint. Again, you can use any color that you want. Um, so I gave that a about two or three coats probably until it was fully covered. Um, let it dry and then I went ahead and added my rope in. So with the height of the rope, again, this is going to depend on where you're going to be hanging your planter and how low you want it to be hanging. So I cut out one piece of rope and then I used it again as a guide to measure my second piece of rope. And then what you're going to do is just take it and feed it through the outside of the hole of your planter and you're going to pull it through and then do the same thing with the hole that's next to it four inches over. And then you're going to repeat this process on the other side and you might have to adjust the rope a little bit just to make sure that the ends are even because you want it to be even on both sides. Um, so just kind of hold it up and make sure that everything matches up. And once you've done that, you can flip it on its side and just take all the pieces of rope and tie a knot at the top and then you can hang it up by this knot. And I just think this one is a really cool and easy upcycle to take a cheap planter and make it look great. All right, I'm totally in spring mode over here while I'm getting there. The weather's getting a little bit warmer, so I'm really excited. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think and which one was your favorite. And if you try it out or any of them out, make sure that you tag your photos on Instagram so I can see them and share them. And like I said, this is the spring decor challenge, so I'm going to link the playlist down below if you want to check out some of the other great ideas in the playlist and get yourself ready for spring as well. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe before you go, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.